Hey, I'm Pam from Moms Run This Town, and today I'm here with one of my personal trainers, Jeremy Gritton from Gritton's Training System, and we are really excited um, starting now uh, throughout 2017. Um, Gritton's is going to be putting on a lot of awesome little videos and challenges throughout the year to help keep you motivated. So today we are going to talk about a move that is awesome for runners, and I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what the move is and why it's beneficial. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to show you is just a basic squat. Um, uh, the benefits are really great for runners, especially if you do it the right way. Um, if you can help strengthen your quads, uh, but also your glutes. So uh, I thought what we would do is I would demo it for them, Pam. Okay. And um, so this is what I see a lot. A lot of times when people are doing a squat, it sounds uh, very basic, uh, but a lot of times it looks kind of like this, right? So what's happening there is it's only your quads. So your quads get a lot of work when you run. So we're gonna try to really focus on keeping your shoulders back. You put your hands like this, say a little prayer, something, whatever you want. But focus on shoulders back and getting nice and deep. Now I know that not everybody can go really deep just based on um, tightness um, and your range of motion. But if you can get your um, butt the same height as your knees, that's perfect. So before you start, you want to push your hips back so that your knees don't do that. Okay, so you push your hips back, draw your tailbone down, and then drive all the way back up. So that's going to be a part of what we're going to share with you in just a minute, but that's the correct way to do the squat. Now let me ask you a question. Let's just say that somebody has been doing squats for a long time and they're like, squats, that's boring. Is there any way that they can amp it up a little bit? Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. Uh, you can pick up a weight if you have weights at the house. Uh, you can pick up your wife or your kids. Uh, you can squat with them. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can do that. You can pulse at the bottom. So instead of just going down and all the way back up, if you don't have weights and you wanna intensify it a little bit, come down, pulse about halfway and let that be your rep. So a lot of ways uh, to make it harder or more challenging. Awesome. All right, now here's where the challenge comes into place. Jeremy is going to talk to us about the Hala K challenge. Hala K. Hala and you K. will see where the K comes into place right now. Okay, so uh, this is going to be starting Thanksgiving Day. What? Yes, Thanksgiving Day. <sighs> so for 28 days, so it's gonna go from Thanksgiving Day to December 21st. Uh, we want you, we're going to challenge you for the Hala K. The K means 1,000 reps. So 1,000 of those squats. That sounds like a lot. Okay, so we, we, we understand that, right? But we broke it down for them, right? So it's 38 per day. I just turned 38, so it's 38. It's actually like 36 and a half, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, so 38 squats per day okay. will get you to 1,000. So don't get behind. Okay, what a 38 is a lot for me. And that's great. So what we've done is we actually have a sheet that we're going to share with everybody, right? Yep, it's so going to be a download. We have a very fancy spreadsheet here. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, and we broke it down for you. So if um, starting there is too much, you can start with a lower number. And we've got a progression down here for you so that as you get stronger and you get more comfortable with the move, you'll eventually get to your 1,000 for the month. What if I miss a day? If you miss a day, that's okay. Do a little bit extra on the next day. Now, we want people to try to do it every day because we're trying to help you get really consistent with it so that you don't get overwhelmed because we don't want somebody to miss a week or 10 days and then try to do four or 500 in a day. That's not gonna be any. That would be anybody. too much. Yeah. Too much. Awesome. So, and there's other elements to the um, uh, challenge too um, that we will describe on our website. If you go to www.momsrunthistown.com, you will see a link to the Grittens Challenge. It may be called GTS. I haven't decided what I'm putting up there yet. Um, but you will see it. It will have this beautiful logo on it, so you should be able to find it. It will be in blue. And it will have links to the download here. And we're also gonna add some nutritional information um, and this video so that you can find it, so you can remember how to do a squat. And uh, we hope you will join us. Oh, there will also be a Facebook group that you can join too to help keep you accountable for the next 28 days. So we hope you join us and do this for the holidays to keep you on track and awesome. look forward to seeing you. Good luck guys. Thanks.